let's find a guest on the first row. And so we will be voting on the best table topics provided. If anybody doesn't have a ballot, we have them here on the edge. Does, Does anybody need a ballot, ballot? or anyone need a ballot? Keep your hands raised for me. <laughs> okay. okay. Okay, so Sam, just to review again. This is a hypothetically you've chosen this speech. Yep. We want you to tell us why you chose this speech yep. and then outline the main points that you'll cover for us. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sam Richardson, how to prepare your favorite dish. Ah. How to prepare your favorite <laughs> dish, Sam Richardson. Okay, Troy, right. thank you. The, the first thing that I would want to do to make sure that people understood how to prepare my favorite dish is to talk about why it's my favorite dish. Um, Food is also a big part of my family and my background because food is equates to enjoyment and it brings people together. Now, um, not to sound stereotypical, but uh, as a guy that uh, ate a lot of food but prepared very little of it growing up, I uh, became an adult who did not know how to prepare food. <laughs> and so uh, I uh, fortunately have a beautiful spouse who uh, is great at cooking. Um, but oftentimes I'm not in the room to see how she's preparing it. And so if I'm going to talk and prepare in front of this great Toastmasters class, um, some of which are probably great chefs themselves, I would have to do a lot of homework. And the best way I think to describe how to prepare food, something that I enjoy, would be I would bring in props. I would bring in that food, and I would bring in somebody to make it for me. <laughs> <laughs> and I would ultimately learn from that person on the preparation in a uh, cook school type format on how I can prepare and learn right in front of you so you can believe what I'm saying in terms of I'm going to learn along with you so that I can go home and be more productive, probably as a husband uh, as well as a father, and prepare this meal every once in a while. In addition to that, I think it's important that complexity be, be a part of everything. At the end of the day, for an anniversary dinner or something important, it's probably not as uh, acceptable to just whip up a bowl of spaghetti, but actually do something that uh, I think would be appealing to uh, who I'm serving this dish for, not just for myself. So I would invest the time uh, talking about how I would do the romantic side of a meal, in addition to the food consumption itself which would put a nice little romantic spin on it as well. And I think I'd close it off by uh, sharing that food and perhaps having, again, a prop where uh, we would all enjoy this via candlelight. And then my assistant would come get me and I would be able to leave and go to my next meeting. <laughs> She usually gets me. I'm surprised she's not in there. He's having mental violence. <laughs> That's good. That was fun. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, the three of you. Um, hopefully that gives you a taste of the table topics. Please come join us weekly and exercise your ability to speak on the spot. Also, want everybody to be sure to know that this is a safe place to come and practice your speaking and leadership skills. I'll go ahead and come on the side here and collect all of the, the ballots. And with that, we'll conclude the table topics portion. Thank, Thank you very much. Well. So like Troy said, hopefully that was a little taste of our meeting. We usually have those speeches. We have the table topics. Sometimes the table topics are longer because, of course, we have some more time. But it's really a chance to participate, a chance to get up in front of the room, a chance to speak on the fly. It's a lot of fun, usually. At this time, we would normally have a lot of evaluations. I mean, you've heard us say that. Evaluations are an important part of our education program. It's how we improve. It's how we get better. We're going to cut that down a little bit today, and I'm going to give a chance just for our timer and our on-counter grammarian to give their report. So, Mr. Timer, how did we do on times today? We did very good on time today. Uh, Daryl made it within his time limit, six minutes and 20 seconds. Uh, Sam, you made it within... <laughs> eight times and fifteen seconds, uh, and then for table topics, all three participants uh, qualify. Perfect. Thank you, Mr. Timer. And our all-counter grammarian did. We managed to use the word of the day. I know I did. 
but I know some other people did, and yeah. how did we do on our grammar? Well, thank you, Alice. Sam, I, I made note that you used the word of the day, paradigm. And uh, Troy, thank you for using the word of the day today, also paradigm. <coughs> as far as my report, Jeremy, I only counted one off, and I especially liked your use of the word mobsterish. <laughs> as a, one thing we also like to do is make note of any great use of unique language. Chris, I really uh, liked your word that you used, countenance. It's not a word you hear frequently. I think it's, it's very descriptive. I did count four ums, three ands, used as filler word, and a so. Sam, I like the word complexity that you used. I counted seven ums. Yep, I'm not good. cutting any punches <laughs> here. <Yeah. laughs> Sorry. That's right. Um, and two so's used as filler words. Ah. And that's my report. Thank you. Thank you, Andrea. <laughs> We've had members who started coming to Toastmasters and had up to 40 ums in that one to two yeah. minute table topic and been able to cut that down by coming, right? Down to seven, down to two, down to none eventually, yeah. right? Get those filler words out of your speech, make your speech more impactful, make it more powerful. I think it's hard for people to pause. Silence scares people. Silence scares but people. But it, it actually makes people sit up in their seat a little bit because they're now, there's a bated breath. You're, you're anticipating, why are they not talking? What are they going to say next? That's right. Yeah. Silence does scare people. It's scary to stand up here and just stop speaking. Right. Have everyone staring. Yeah. And, and sometimes that pause is really more powerful than right. the hands or the so or the like or the yeah. uh, that you put there. Right. That is the typical end of our meeting. So at this time, again, welcome. Thank you all for being here. I hope you enjoyed the speeches. I hope you can congratulate the people who had some awards presented today. We have some refreshments over here, so please stay and enjoy those. Ask us any questions you have, and I hope to see you all at another meeting very soon. I think at this time I want to introduce our Troy, our VP of Membership. He has an announcement to make. <laughs> I want to announce that uh, Jeremy won the table topics. It was very close. Oh. He had the most improved category, and Sam Richardson won the most improved category. <laughs> I mentioned several times, there's lots of leadership opportunities inside of our organization. Jeremy is one of our members. He was the chair for this event. So Jeremy put a lot of time, a lot of effort into pulling all the pieces together, organizing it, delegating to different members to make it all happen. Jeremy, would you stand up? Everyone give him a round Meeting adjourned. Please stay, have some refreshments. Let us know if you have any questions about Toastmasters. We hope to see you all at another meeting very soon, every Thursday, 11.15, this room. Yes, we have friends. Thank you so much for coming. No? Oh, man. You've been around us. It's so good. Congratulations on that. Dan, thanks for the, for the photography. Well,